All right, all right. How's it going, everyone? This is Royal Banks with Paternity University. Uh, here is a slideshow that I created uh, that is called the tools to systemize your business, the things that you're going to need or some of the things that you may look into to help you systemize your business. Now, this can be for anything. This can be for DNA paternity testing. Uh, this can be for uh, a notary. This can be for a mortgage broker, whatever. These are just some things that uh, you could use to systemize your business. Without further ado, we're going to get straight into it. So first off, your whiteboard. Uh, to me, the whiteboard is just one of the most important things that you could ever use for a business. I like to call my whiteboard uh, or my whole setup the Starship Enterprise. And <laughs> this, this, it, it just, it helps so much. With the whiteboard, you can literally just draw out ideas, however you see fit, um, however you like to dry them uh, or jot them out. You can visually see your goals. You can write it out. You can erase stuff. You can take a photo of it. You can have multiple whiteboards, but it's a great way for you to write down what you want to do either in your life or in your business or whatever. Uh, you know, my my motto was whiteboards will make me millions, which is, is so true. Uh, so that's just number one. That's just like mindset and initial planning. Number two, a physical calendar either one that you can use a pen or one that you can hang up on the wall and use a, a dry erase marker. But that helps me specifically. So I can see the due dates for certain bills. I can I can put very important meetings on there. And then you could just see the days and the weeks and the month. You can see how many working days there are in the month. Um, you can really just visually see the date, uh, the date time frame for uh, your business and even for your life. This is a big one uh, that I had to pick up uh, this year, 2024, was an accounting ledger book. Now, you know, some people are maybe great with using online systems such as QuickBooks, um, you know, to track their expenses, track the income. I say you can use both, but if you want to just go straight old school or just, you know, the, 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 the original way, um, the accounting ledger book, it helps so much. You can track your expenses and income. You can kind of categorize it a bit. And then you can also like physically writing this stuff down helps you remember um, exactly kind of what's going on um, financially wise in your business. Like what exactly is going on? How much are you spending on this? But you have to manually enter. So you have to force yourself. And if it's something that you don't like to do, you're going to have to make yourself do it um, because it helps so much. And it's there forever in ink. And you can always look back at what you were spending money on and and be like, okay, maybe I can cut spending here or increase marketing here. Google Suite, G Suite. All right. Uh, I use this a lot. I prefer Google. Some people prefer Apple, some prefer Yahoo. I don't know why you still use Yahoo, but <laughs> uh, look, Google has to me the most comprehensive suite of apps used for productivity, productivity, I would say. So Google Calendar, Google Drive, you know, if you're into cloud documentation, you know, storing your docs in the cloud uh, or, you know, that's fine. If you if you manually write your stuff and store them at home, that's completely fine as well. But if you're on the go and you want to access information, having all those Gmail, Calendar, Drive, Google Docs, where you can just write stuff down on the fly. Maybe if you're on a flight or something like that or you're traveling or you're out and about, and you're on your phone, you have an idea, you can put it in your notes or your Google Docs. Uh, then Google Sheets, which is tracking your clients and sales, which I'm going to go into in a minute. So this, this stuff helps. Chat GPT, and I'm going to um, shorten the window in, in a second and show you kind of a live chat GPT session that I may pull up and we'll see if it's going to be successful. But chat GPT is an AI system. Um, you can essentially prompt it. You can type in questions and you can ask it, hey, make me a marketing plan. Write me an email template for this type of business if I'm sending it to a lawyer you know, generate ideas and stuff like that. So let's let's minimize the screen a little bit and go to chatgpt.com. And so this one says, develop a Q1 or quarter one 2025 marketing plan for paternity testing service based in Raleigh, North Carolina. Let's see what it comes up. I'm just curious. Let's see. Look at that. This is live. This is live. Look, it tells you <laughs> what you could do. This will give you a skeleton 
and you can fill it in later on. You can change things if you want. Uh, look at that. It's telling your target audience marketing strategies right here. All right here. And you can copy it uh, and ultimately paste it into maybe a, a Google document or something like that. That'll really, really help. Uh, this next one is the sales tracking spreadsheet. Okay. So I developed my first sales tracking spreadsheet in, I think, 2021. Um, this really helped to track my clients, how much I was charging them, the testing fees, everything. By the way, this is in the course. This is available for download in the course. Uh, and then with that, you can always go back and track your sales info. So check this out. This is a client tracker that I developed. This is in the course. This is not a real person, but it shows uh, John Smith. You may have gotten a uh, DNA test on, done on November 3rd of 2024. Oh, wait, <laughs> I have the data here twice, but, you know, you can always edit this stuff. Um, and then you can charge, you can see how much you charged them. And I have the formulas in here uh, already that kind of add up. So you enter in how much you charge them. You might put in whatever the square fee was. If there's a collection fee, if you outsource the test, the testing fee, that's the lab. That's what the lab charges you. And it adds it all up. It adds up all these fees up for you here. And it tells you your gross profit. You know, your gross profit is, uh, what you sold it for minus how much it costs for you to run the test. And then it gives you your profit margin. And then if you want to break now, well, I want to put some away for savings, some away for taxes, 15%, and then your, your ultimate net income right here and your profit margin. That's in the course. That's in the course. That is in the course. Okay, you can download that. That's in the course. That helps you track your sales. Bookkeeping. Very important, very important, very, very important. If you can do it yourself, that's awesome. But I hired a bookkeeper. Um, you can know some bookkeepers can go for 150, 200 bucks a month. All right. Once you, you know, get to a certain point, you want to have somebody making sure that everything is documented properly and uh, taxes and yada, yada, yada. So you also, you know, you can use accounting software like QuickBooks. That's just standard accounting software. And for that, that builds your, what is called your profit and loss statements in your balance sheet. That's your profit and loss statement shows you, you know, how much money the business has brought in and then how much has been spent in expenses and testing fees uh, and travel and marketing and things of that nature and how much is left over after a certain amount of time. And that shows you your financial health. That's really important stuff. Very important stuff. So if you get a a bookkeeper. You can do it yourself if you're not doing as many tests, but after a certain point, if you want to outsource that, hire a bookkeeper, a professional, a certified uh, bookkeeper um, that can assist you with that stuff. A virtual assistant, hiring a virtual assistant. This is my uh, virtual assistant, uh, Luz Tejada. Uh, you know, I personally recommend her for DNA testing uh, virtual assistant work. Um, she does a lot of other stuff as well, but she is one of the few trained DNA paternity testing virtual assistants in the country and probably in the world. Uh, and she helped me outsource, you know, incoming calls. When I was in the military, I couldn't answer the phone calls like that. So uh, I hired a virtual assistant and trained her up and she helped me outsource the calls, sending emails, setting up the appointments, doing results release, you know, and that let me free up my time to focus on building the business. Lose is bilingual, and that is her website right there. You can check it out. Okay, so these are some strategies that I used, uh, planning and reviewing sessions. So what I would do, you can either do this on your whiteboard, you can, you can write it down in a book, you can put it in Google Documents, but you need to do some monthly, quarterly, bi-weekly planning uh, and, and catch up. So what do you want to accomplish? What are your inputs? As in, I plan to, uh, you know, call five lawyers a week to let them know about my DNA paternity testing service. And what is your desired output? Well, my desired output is after calling five lawyers a week for four weeks straight, that's 20 lawyers. I want at least two lawyers. I want to have a meeting set up with at least two of those lawyers, 10%, two of those lawyers. I want to have a meeting set up so I can give them my cards and give them my information about paternity testing or notary or whatever else, right? And then you have to, in the military, we did something called an after action review. 
an AAR. It was after every mission, after every training. It was what, you know, what happened, what was supposed to happen, uh, what happened and how can we improve on it or how can we keep doing this better? So it's like, did you do it or did you not do it? And what happened and why? And what was the output of it? If you can write that stuff down and track that stuff and have it in one place where you can track your information as you go along in your business, it's a great way to tell the story of your business and how you built it. You're going to look back years and say, wow, this is incredible. One of the last things is mentors and specialists. Uh, you know, Through your journey, you're going to meet mentors and specialists. As you can see right here, these are the people that you're going to come across at some point in time. Uh, at either networking events or, or cold outreach, whatever, but accountants, CPAs, you know, uh, marketing specialists, lawyers, business coaches, small group settings, like you're going to come across people and you want to conversate with them and learn from them and be able to reach out to them. You got to build your network of advisors, you know, so, you know, build your reputation locally in your, in your, in your area, go to conferences, meet people, go to meet and greets, Whatever you got to do, speak to people, give them your cards, talk to them, let them know about paternity testing, uh, talk to lawyers, wh whatever. Get out there and build your network. That stuff's super important. So the Paternity University Power Hour, as I kind of shift to kind of closing down the uh, self-paced course until 2025, I will do uh, hour-long coaching sessions where, as you can see, we focus on these things here. It's a power hour. And at the end of it, you'll get a final summary with actionable steps um, for you to take to if you're stuck on something, if you're confused about something, if you need help with something, generating something, I am here for that. And I can help you pull all these tools together um, to, to make sure that you can run your business. And like I said, not just paternity testing, but really anything else. It's, it's, it's open. Uh, if it's a service business, I'm pretty sure I can assist you. Uh, with at least getting some kind of, 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 of strategy going. So book it at paternityuniversity.com. Thank you all so much uh, for, 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 for doing this, for watching. Uh, until next time, peace.